guys Mat Martinez back again let's get into it guys so as you can see we got the two here Creed the original and Creed Cologne now I know in the last video guys I said EDP obviously it's not an EDP the name is obviously there um, it is a cologne I'm aware of that thank you very much for letting me know um, when sometimes guys I do my videos but I want to get my thoughts out straight away and that's what happens sometimes I'm not gonna edit the video just for the sake of saying I said EDP instead of saying cologne you do know it's a cologne so um, that's taking care of that now guys so um, the two here you can see my two bottles here um, unfortunately for me guys you can see how much juice I've used um, just in the space of time I've had it um, again as I have expressed I'm very disappointed with this there is no projection but I'm just gonna give my my um, thoughts on this before I get into the ladies responses so ultimately guys this is the um, as you know the event is cologne um, this was a hundred mil bottle and obviously the cost of this in the UK around about 215 pounds um, I got mine on the pre-order um, and here I am now with this bottle um, I will be putting this on eBay um, for those that really are into um, this type of fragrance by all means you know go ahead but for me guys I won't be spraying this anymore because I'm not um, particularly satisfied with it now um, I actually worn this for a full day I didn't wear anything else I wanted to the office and even though guys um, about longevity and everything else like this um, it doesn't have amber green in it so the potency is not there and the problem with this fragrance is to say it lacks and it's, it's like a troll to the original version if you imagine that the original version is the king as people refer to it as um for all its faults it's still um a um a benchmark for um what you expect from creed this one pales in comparison this one is like the illegitimate son from the mother who nobody knew um that relates to this one um i can't see any real resemblance in the quality that we get in this one compared to this one and as i said guys i want this for a full day i spray this in the morning and literally guys within 10 minutes i can't spray can't really smell it anymore now don't get me wrong throughout the day um, and we're talking like a full um, eight hour working day you do get slight whiffs of it but it's only slight whiffs now the original creed um, i probably wouldn't wear this to the office because i think this is quite heavy um again um this one gives you that base um the ambergris there's the birch is there um this one to me guys is it, it's, it's not necessarily worth it now i don't believe for 250 pounds in the uk for the current price um but when i bought this this one guys um and again creed have changed the the sizes as well which i'm not sure what they're trying to achieve with this and 250 pounds in my opinion is way too much for what this is and um, there's so many clones out there and so many variations to it that it doesn't really make sense in this day and age now um but for me guys this one will give me a full day's worth of wear and um, again i've had this bottle now for probably over a year if not going into maybe a year and a half and you can see how much juice i have left i have at least probably a good um third i'd say of this bottle while this one literally only a few days you can see how much has been used of it say probably like a fifth of it has been used um and for me guys this one just pales in comparison it's nowhere near um the two don't even compete with each other um, it's one of those excuse me <coughs> it's one of those situations where <coughs> you can see how angry i'm getting because again I'm just disappointed but at the end of the day guys um there's just no comparison whatsoever yes they've got a new type of bottle yes you know the cap is there and the atomizer is there which is fantastic that's fine but you know why are you going to spend you know 200 pounds or 400 dollars in america for something that you're just going to be concerned about the name and the bottle and um, we want the juice and the juice is just not there on this one guys now um as i say full working day struggling to get to the afternoon afternoon probably around about if i leave and begin my job say around about 9 a.m um, by at least midday guys it is is very wavering um it was wavering probably when i was just leaving the house um while this one is still there and it's still potent now guys ladies reactions um i've not spent the time to go and ask multiple ladies on this one because again i'm going to sell this one guys i don't see the the point anymore in using up the juice um it's just not for me and i'm aware of that but the the, the ladies who I, I have asked um I've had them both smell um, the bottles and they were like, okay, yeah, well, that's familiar or, or maybe they didn't know the brand, but yeah, that's, that smells very familiar to me. Okay, both are nice. You spray it, guys, after 10 minutes, the response was word for word, this one is nice. I enjoy this one. I prefer this one. This one, hmm, can't smell it. It doesn't make sense. Where has it gone? I need to be really close up to smell it. What does that mean? It's a skin scent. Cologne is a cologne, guys, but at the end of the day, for what the brand and the house are to represent, um, this has been a real oversight. Um, 
Hopefully, maybe they'll say in the future, um, you know, we do need to put Amagri in it. Um, they're saying it's too expensive, but I can't see for the cost of what this is, how that could be too expensive. Um, they've got it wrong on this one, guys, hands down. There's no in-between on this one. Um, maybe some people will buy it. Maybe some people live in a very high, maybe tropical sort of environment um, with the heat. And maybe with this one, it would be probably more appropriate than this one. But even so, guys, if you're going to do an old fresh version, you're going to do a cologne, whatever it may be, there's still certain ingredients that you'll need to keep in to keep the longevity and um for me guys i really don't know what's happening in the testing i'm really not too sure but to be honest they got this wrong and i know we complain and say oh about the variations for creed and you know there's different batch codes and you need to make sure you get a certain year like i say like it's like wine pretty much and if you don't get a certain type of vintage type of bottle then it's not gonna be the right thing all that sort of bullshit that comes out of it but at the end of the day guys at the end of the day even though there's the nuances that we can be unhappy with, you still knew where you were with this fragrance. And that's one of the key things I think about this fragrance. I personally won't be buying another bottle of this. Um, I will use it until such time and enjoy those memories, but I will not be purchasing another bottle. I'll even keep the bottle as my own souvenir, so to speak. But this one, guys, I couldn't care less. This one doesn't represent anything at all what this one represents. It doesn't show me anything or give me any insight in respect of the notes that of what, what this one is. This pales in comparison. There's no in-between. There's no mistakes. This one is just not up to it. Um, Creed, as I say, I'm going to say it again, you've really got it wrong on this fragrance. Um, there may be some people who are saying, oh, it's a fantastic fragrance and they really enjoy it. And those YouTubers that reviewed it and said that, guys, um, I don't know if they're getting any kickbacks. I don't know, but I'm telling the reality you can see the type of um, setup I have when I do these videos and again if I make mistakes in the videos I'm giving you the most the most realist opinion I can give I paid my money guys equally like anybody else and I have an opinion which I believe is valid and I put it out there for you guys to hear it as well and at the end of the day guys all I'd say is there's so many clothes there's so many variations stick with the original version if you do need to buy one stick with the original one this one would fall way back behind behind the shelf maybe Creed to be honest maybe should have called it something else um, but to be called to call it Aventus Cologne is an insult to what Aventus is um it's just a real letdown um and i think to be honest guys um in my opinion um this is the sort of fragrance which if it was another brand and another name and this wasn't there and you put this up somewhere else and they call it aventus cologne you look at it and laugh you look and say what what sort of joke is this but just for the brand being there just for the house being there this is the, the, the reality. And I want to say well done to Creed because, again, you've duped myself and probably many other people out there um, with um, this particular product because we relied on you and we relied on what you've done previously because we do appreciate it and you have brought something to the game when this came out. This is a fantastic fragrance. Um, it's still holds its weight in comparison. Obviously, the price point is a, is a sore point. It's not necessarily everything everyone's going to agree with it. But ultimately, guys, um, we've been let down with this one. Creed, you got it wrong. I'm saying that now for probably the fifth time. You got it wrong. Um, again, ladies' responses, they're just like, I can't smell it. So um, there's so many other fragrances out there where I could really make sure that um, you know I get my money's worth. I'm not spending anywhere near this amount. I mean, even perfumes de Mali, th th those fragrances are costing less than this one, what this one costs. And I'm getting longevity throughout the whole day. The CRG is there, the projection is there, you know, you name it, guys, the note breakdown is complex and it's there. Why are companies now putting out fragrances using their brand name and image to think that people are going to buy into it and say, well, OK, it's, it's fantastic um, and go from there. I think the biggest the biggest um, benefit Creed would have had with this is probably the, the, the promotion for the, actually for this one. Um, I don't know if this is going to actually have any longevity. Maybe they might actually discontinue it. But whatever happens, guys, the, the ingredients do need to change. So that's really my thoughts on that one, guys. Um, ladies aren't satisfied with it. Ladies want to keep the original one. Um, this doesn't mean anything anymore. I'm selling this on eBay, guys. I'm not going to spray any more of it, guys, because it's an insult to, to what Creed um, put out when they put out Aventus. Um, and they've just done made another disappointment with this one, guys. So thank you very much. There are my thoughts and my comments on this one, guys. Hopefully see you soon with another breakdown for another thing. I got from um, um, Dua Fragrances so I will let you know my thoughts on that guys but as it stands right now this is still the king this is still there this one pales in comparison guys see you soon Matt Martinez ciao